So this is the new Sky Wi-Fi box. But is it worth the extra money we've paid? We're going to find out in this video. Hello and welcome to the Adam Avell YouTube channel. Today we're reviewing Sky Broadband Hub. Now Adam is the Sky Spock for our channel, having reviewed his new Sky Glass TV a year or so ago and the Sky Puck that he got with it. Now I've just upgraded my internet from Sky Superfast to Sky Ultrafast. So I'm gonna try and explain in the video the process, how easy it was or wasn't, the cost difference and the speed as well. I'll also put up a couple of little bits of film from where I filmed, uh, they put a grey box outside that will go up on the screen and a, a couple of other little bits and pieces. I recorded also a speed test from the old internet. So the old internet used to run at uh, about, I think it was meant to run at 25 Mbps, something like that. I will put a screenshot up now if the video didn't come out in focus because my, my camera screen, my camera lens, my camera screen are very small. So sometimes when I try and get things in focus, even off my phone, it doesn't always go in focus. So if the footage isn't good enough from the old internet, then I will put the screenshot up of what the speeds I was getting. And also what we do is we'll do a speed test live during the recording. And again, if I can't get that in focus of what it reads now, then I will put a screenshot up of the speed it is currently running at. So the reason that I changed for various circumstances that I will not go into or bore you with if you're not bored already, is the fact that we have over 20 devices at any one time running in my house. That sounds ridiculous, but you have to remember there are seven people living in my house and only one is a little child. So that's all near enough adults, Max is 13, 14. Max has got about nine devices just in his room alone. So we have a lot of devices. Now the, the super fast ball brand we had was okay. It, it managed okay, but it was only ever okay. So what we thought we'd do, we had a discussion, so I rung Sky up. I said, here, my ball band's all right, but you've got ultra fast. You've also got ultra fast plus, which I'll come to in a minute. But ultra fast seems to fit the bill better for what we have at home with all the devices. How much is that gonna cost? And what is the process of ultra fast? To my surprise, the ultra fast was only gonna cost me another two pounds a month, two pound a month. For a, it's triple the speed, I think it is. I think on my phone, I had a screenshot of what the uh, ultra fast, oh, here we go. So super fast average download speed is 59 MBS. The ultra fast is 145, if that goes in focus. So I thought, I wanna go up to ultra fast, and I said, you can have that, it's only two quid. Only two pound more. I thought, what's the process? So they told me the process will be, Without us knowing it, OpenReach will turn up and put a grey box on our wall outside if we haven't got one already. I'm not going to bore you with the techniques because I don't understand why they did that, but they did. I think it's to do with the fibre ball, but I'm sure people will put in the comments. It's the fibre, it's the fibre wires. <laughs> I, I, I genuinely don't know, but they said within the next two weeks, on a day that you won't even be aware of, a grey box will be fitted to the outside of your home. And it happened, it did happen when somebody was here and we saw it happen, they was here about 10 minutes, they didn't need an appointment. And they said to us, within five days of that being done, Sky will be here, no it weren't five days, they made an appointment for two weeks from the phone call. They made an appointment, the grey box would be fitted and the appointment would happen. In those, by the two weeks, the grey box would have been fitted. And that's what happened. And the guy turned up from Sky at the allotted appointment date and time, he was bang on time, couldn't fault it. He came in and he gave us the new hub like you saw at the very beginning of the video. There was also another little wire put on the wall and a little green flashing box that was put plugged in behind where the unit is that the hub is sitting on. And that was pretty much it. Two weeks after the phone call, two pound extra a month, job done. I've got no issues. I've got zero complaints. I did inquire about the ultra fast, the ultra fast plus. That's another 17 pound a month to what we pay. So 
two pound a month extra, 17 pound a month extra. No, I stuck with a two because it's ideal. Has it worked? Well, like I said, we'll do a speed test in a second, but Mac says his Xbox is running better. The TVs are running better. The phones are running better because my grown up son and his partner, Chloe, they never used to either use the Wi-Fi on their phone because they used to find it a little bit bitty, so they always use their data. They're now using their Wi-Fi, I'm not using up all their data. And the Fire Sticks, which sometimes would be a bit sporadic, they're all working fine as well. Everybody is happy. So I have to say, fair play, Sky. Two pound extra for a much better internet. No issues whatsoever. I personally haven't noticed a difference because I only, only go on my phone. I don't use iPads, I use my laptop for some editing and that's about it. And, and the TV, I haven't noticed any different personally, but everyone in the household is saying that everything is running better. So we'll do a quick speed test. Remember, it's meant to be 159 average, was it? Something like that, 145 MBS seconds average. I've got a little app on my phone called Speed Test, which is there. Speed Test, I'm gonna try and do this so that we get it live and it does go in focus. So I'm gonna click start. I thought, there we go. So I'm hoping if that, that's in focus. If it isn't, then what we do, as I say, I will screenshot the results. Ping check is still doing it. I don't know what a ping check is. Again, someone will probably put in the comments what a ping check is. It's still doing it. Oh, look at that. It's just jumped. The download and the upload speeds are there. I don't know if they're going in focus because like I said, my screen is too small. Download is saying 94. It's meant to be 125, but I'll accept that because it was... So there we go, 10 the ping, download 94.5, 23.7 the upload speed. I will screenshot that like I said. In comparison to, so it's 94, and then what did I say, 23.5, and it was 37. That's an improvement for two pound a month. For two pound a month, I will take that. So thank you, Sky. Thank you for giving me a cheap increase on a much, much better and faster internet. Thanks for those of you that have stuck to the end of the video of me waffling about things I don't even know about for seven minutes. For more videos where I pretend to know what I'm talking about when it comes to electronic gadgets and broadband hubs, don't forget to like and subscribe.